Welcome everyone to another video. As you see right here, this is something different. We're on my whole iPhone browser. And as you see right here, uh, we're typing in some stuff, blah, blah. So we're doing a new series called Journey of Wrestling. What this is basically, think of it like a secondary version of Total Extreme Wrestling. Yeah, think of it like that. So it's like, we used to play it on like a browser, stuff like that. Works on an iPhone browser, works on a laptop browser. Stuff like that, so it's, it's it's pretty cool. So basically, what we're trying to do, uh, this was pre-recorded, but what we're trying to do is like try to find whole daily rosters. As you see here, this is just a couple of rosters. It's like people who like did custom rosters and like a whole career slash company. So it's basically you know like universe mode, GM mode, TW, where you, you basically want to call it. It's basically that you can also do GM mode really, but um, I'm already doing Spider-Man Rotals 2008 GM mode and. 2007 GMO is actually probably still saved up. By my TNA 2010, I see you there. TNA 2010. The rosters I am interested in is uh, WWE 2007 and TNA 2010, because I got a specific person I want to push in that particular year. Uh, so yeah, we're doing TNA 2010. We're doing a new file, and I see you here. I'm not sure this is gonna be difficult for you guys to see it like this because the screen is vertical. So it's considered this for like the whole rest of the series and stuff like that. But not unless to say, let's see, you know, we got like a whole bunch of booking stuff. So basically we can book segments, we can book matches. We can only book five segments. Yeah, only five segments. Which to be fair is not good because then if we book five segments and that'll be only like two segments like promos, attacks, rivalries and stuff like that and also with the fact of like uh, only doing three matches as well so that's the one downside to it. I see here we're booking Genesis 2007 this is where we start off at and so the way this will um, basically work by well at least for the whole uh, style here it's like the first match we book is the main event and then it's like the last match we're able to book is actually you know the the first match so i see here we're doing like a whole like female thing we're doing a battle row seven women and this is gonna be for the vacant tna knockouts championship so tna knockouts roster i believe is like only nine i think eight nine but it's like we're just gonna use like seven so this year during the main event, Mr. Anson, Samoa Joe, Krangle, and AJ Styles. And then make James Vote, Sky Terra Wild, Andrew and Love, Terra, Sarita, Madison Rain, stuff like that. And uh yeah. So seven women slash knockouts championship battle road. We now have a submission match, so we can now use that. We could use that for like a Krangle type rivalry in the future, maybe. So I see it here since this whole video is like 39 minutes, close to 40 minutes. We're basically doing from Genesis all the way to Destination X. So we're doing like a whole month, a whole a whole month here. So there we go. That is the second match. We still got tag titles to do. Still got the X Division Championship to do as well, but we're also going to do a rivalry. So we got Jeff Hardy, Karis Maganima, he's going to take on Abyss. That right there is going to be our like rivalry of TNA. And there's like an ad feud thing, but I keep pressing it. I kept pressing it and it like didn't do anything. Um, but I'm pretty sure you could like make it into a grudge match or whatever without any storytelling, really. But uh, it's like once we soon get into like closer to Destination X, I am gonna stop doing segments like you know, promos or attacks and just simply do, ma do matches because then we can build off from there. Because for some reason, every person in the every person in the whole roster here is actually neutral no face no heel just 50 50 like as the black basically although black is like face uh whatever you guys get the idea so right now tag teams here there's no 2v2 thing already we have to create our own tag teams so we are going to do that later on in this video you guys will see me do it but then it's like we got uh this stuff tag teams for tag titles team 3d and if i remember correctly uh, Beer Money Incorporated, yeah. And now, uh, X Division Championship, which to be fair is going to be super exciting to do because we could easily push a whole bunch of. whole bunch of people. Let's uh, see, we got Kassarian there, Jay Lethal, Austin Ayers, Christopher Daniels. We're going to do Aries, 
Um, I do want to do lethal, but no. Uh, Daniels, we're gonna do as well. Kendrick Saban, as well, cause why not? Cause I actually want to push Brian Kendrick. Kendrick is going to get pushed. Raj Strong and Suicide as well. Six man ladder match for the X Division Championship. That is going to be the most exciting thing of the nights right there. So I see their whole rosters. For some reason, um, uh, Shark Boy is like lower mid Carter. Surprisingly enough, he's not a uh, jobber, but he's like a lower mid card. He's like the only lower mid card, which I did not find accurate. I feel like he. Upper mid carter, maybe, or if not, they should have been more lower mid carters, not just Shark Boy. We're gonna push Shark Boy soon enough, believe me. So let's see, we've got rosters, we got indies, we got custom. So all the tiles are vacant. Sting is out, he is injured. See, and then if we do try, for example, Jeff Hardy right here, and then I kept pressing neutral stuff like that to try to see if I could turn him face, but we can't do it. We, we just can't do it. So now if we do it for like a person like Asia Styles, who is also neutral as well. Um, we could already turn him, you know, face, turn him heel, where I believe this time was like, what, the Fortune faction around this time with him, Robert Roode, and stuff like that. Ric Flair, I believe, was also there. Yeah. That's, yeah, pretty much it. But it's like, if we wanted to do that, we, we can't. Well, at least that's how. Uh, I've tried to raise, so, so we can't necessarily. I see here we were just like exploring the options. We got manage stuff like that can manage whatever. And now go to event and on this one we could easily simulate. And so we're gonna see who wins. I in reality I want like suicide to win, but Roger Strong wins. It's not bad though. He could he is gonna get pushed. Now he's X Division champion, so good for him. Titan Towels online, Team 3D, Titan Champions, Abyss and Jeff Hardy in this whole street fight. Jeff wins the first rivalry matchup. Battle Royal for the TNA Knockouts Championship. This is gonna be interesting because you know we could like build off storylines with like tag matches. Velvet Sky wins, which is even better. Mr. Anderson, Smojo, Krango, AJ Styles, TNA Championship. I want Mr. Anderson to win because we are gonna give him a push for the Dodi Tales and Seven thing. We were also gonna give him a push, but now AJ Styles wins. So we got all this, blah blah blah. We got all these like plus XP stuff like that. We could do a rivalry with like. Velvet Sky and Engine Love for the beautiful people taking on like whoever, Mickey James and whoever else I guess necessarily. So yeah, and then we got all these most of these seven point five XPs, Injury Revenge feud between Terra and Sarita. So Sarita is in, no Terra is injured. This kid's shoulder. All right, Strong jumped off a twenty foot ladder onto Austin Aries. The fans are going crazy. You've been awarded some creative points. I love how they so casually say that, like after showing us or. Telling us the whole dramatic experience that the fans that the fans went through. It's like here's your creative points. And then we also got like these two other um brands, like they're random. If there's one thing I don't like about this one is that usually you could like have rivals, for example, New Japan for Wrestling, Ring of Honor, WWE, stuff like that, where Progress Wrestling even. But it's like, you know, it's just like TNA and then two all generic brands. And if they're not all generic, well, then I do not know those two brands. But, uh, whatever. So now, first show, Impact Wrestling. The show after Genesis 2008. This is where we could build off of the champions. Roderick Strong, the X Division champion. Tag Team Champions are Team 3D. So we could build off their whole rivalry with Beer Money Incorporated. Knockouts Champions is Velvet Sky. So we could, like, involve the beautiful people against, like, someone. Stuff like that. To help further the rivalry with Velvet Sky defending the towel. And then this is why I did feel for it. Between Styles, Joe, Angle, and Anderson. So for whoever wins the title will end up um whoever wins the title will end up you know the three people who actually didn't win the title I should say will go into a triple threat number one contenders matchup. Whoever wins the that matchup of the triple threat will challenge whoever's champion. In this case Styles is the champion so Sooner or later, not in this episode, well, at least not in this edition of Impact, the one we're doing right now, we're not going to be doing, um, not going to be doing Trip Death, but it'll be Mr. Anderson taking on Smojo, taking on Kurt Angle, and once Sting does return, whenever he returns, it's, it's said one to three months, so once Sting does return, we'll try to find something for him. I guess we're going to do an open challenge and stuff like that. Because we're not going to really use the segments all that much besides, like, just testing out the segments here. 
For example, we're kind of struggling to find segments here. No feuds, stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. Basically, yeah, but ba basically how, how it really works. So now, we can do a Jeff Hardy and Abyss type rivalry. The original, this original video is 39 minutes, but now I'm just going to probably fast forward to when we have our match cards up. Alright, so here you go. After a couple minutes of um, experimenting, we got the match card, Team 3D, Beer Money Incorporated, stuff like that. Originally, I didn't notice that this was the go-home show for Against All Odds, but anyway, Team 3D win. Now, Mickey James and Velvet Sky, they're going to be involved in like a whole backstage bra. And now, the main event, Mr. Anson, Samoa Joe, Krangle. I actually did a mistake here. Uh, Mr. Anson, luckily enough, wins the triple threat. Uh, I did, I did, we got, you know, pick winners or like simulate. Oh, I will only sometimes pick winners, not, not much though. But I see what Mr. Anson, he's normal contender, he'll face off against H Styles. Not against all odds, because, um... Yeah, because we we kind we kind of messed up. We kind of kind of messed up, basically. Because I didn't know that this was the actual against all odds pay per view. I was like, I didn't even know. This. I thought it was like another episode of Impact, which is why I think it took us like five shows instead of four. I think it took us like five shows to get into Destination X, which is why when I did like the fifth Impact show in my mind, I thought, why are we not at the next pay per view yet? Because I didn't even see. Um, the against all odds thing right there, so kind kind of my bad. So yeah, we did kind of make a couple mistakes here. Still kind of new at doing this whole thing. We did make kind of a couple mistakes. Now Samoa Joe, Mr. Anson, stuff like that. Samoa Joe, Mr. Anson, Abyss, Edge Styles, Triangle, Jeff Hardy, six man tag team matchup because why not? We could progress rivalry. So Joe and Angle could perhaps have a rivalry. Since they're like the, the two odd men out from the top picture for now until the the Styles and Anderson matchup at the next preview is over. So it's like the main event of Against All Odds is a six-man tag team matchup. So we did simulate a whole, a whole month, I believe, I think. The same thing, we did like three previews in a whole month. I don't know, we simulated two whenever. I, I got no idea. I really got no idea. But anyway, so we did, we were able to do that, I guess. So for against all odds, I guess it was treated as, you know, you're, you're not important at all. I guess that's how it was. I guess that's how it was really treated. So, yeah, kind of sucks. But it's, yeah, it's, it's over there. So now I completely lost track of what kind of match we're doing here. For... I don't know. Let's fast forward. All right, here we go. James Storm, Briar Devon. I thought I thought this was an episode of Impact, which is why we did these one one matches. Devon defeats James Storm, Rob Rude, and Brother Ray, and it's gonna be Rob Rude who picks up the victory. An open challenge, Rod Strong. Open challenge. Scott Hall answers the challenge. Of course he did. Of course he did. Yeah, screw that. Uh, gonna make Strong win that one. Nick James, Terry Wild, Andrew and Love, Vote Sky, the beautiful people win that one. Joe, Anderson, Abyss, Styles, Angle, and Jeff, the heels or faces, the heels win that one. Although all of them are neutral. But there. And Sting is ready to return. So there we go. That's good. So on the show after Against All Odds, which I thought was a regular impact show, uh, along with Against All Odds, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so Sting will give him an open challenge against whoever. It doesn't matter who accepts it. Um, I guess it kind of does, because we could build off a story off of that. If it's like someone like Smojo or Karango, that would be kind of cool. I necessarily don't really know, but whatever. So, back on Impact, the show after Against All Odds. I swear I did not notice that, which is why I didn't even notice Against All Odds was a pay -view. I just thought it was another episode of Impact. I didn't even see the words Against All Odds when I originally uh, did this. So, Against All Odds wasn't all that much of a good pay -view now, was it? Nope, not all. No tells stuff like that well besides the Roger Strong challenge, I think. Yeah. So Sting will hold an open challenge against whichever competitor is back there in the locker room looking to face out against Roger Strong, Mr. Anderson. Not for the X Division Championship because we're gonna make Anderson see if he could get some momentum before 
Destination X. So, yeah, Anderson, can he defeat the X Division champion Roderick Strong? We shall see. If Strong wins, well, that gives him even more momentum, but that kind of derails Mr. Anderson's momentum, which I really don't want to happen, but uh, it's, it's, it's whatever. 2v2 singles. So we could do like advanced more rivalries if we do like Jeff Hardy and Abyss in it. So for that. So we got Karingo, Jeff Hardy, Abyss. And I'm trying to look for one. We could do like someone random. Uh, one of the goals we had was to like make Sabu a main eventer. So Sabu. We're going to give Sabu and Abyss the victory in the matchup. We're going to make them defeat. Jeff and Kurt Angle. This could perhaps lead to a rivalry between Sabu and Angle. Joe and Angle. Still somewhat there. But yeah, we need to make we had to make Sabu a main event. Those, those were one of our goals here, which is weird. Uh maybe for the X Division title, yeah, because that'll be kinda cool. But well, we can make a hardcore title if we want to. We got Tommy Dreamer, we got Sabu, we got R V D. We got some East W originals, so we we can do that. We can at least do that. But yeah, whatever. So now, most of our transitional stuff, like way to elevate rivalries, will be tag team matches. Where, you know, we'll combine two rivalries, stuff like that. Or, like, hope to advance a certain rivalry. For example, Velvet Sky and Angelina Love, they could keep teaming up to, like, help out Velvet Sky retain championship. Also, uh, Madison Rain was also in the Beautiful People. I can't remember if it was at that time, or it's like, by that time, she, like, was no longer in the team and was like solo. I can't necessarily remember, but it doesn't matter because we can only add in two competitors to a team. We can't create a faction, apparently. Which is why, like, off camera for the British Invasion, I tried and it's like I couldn't do a third member, which was Douglas Williams, Rob Terry, and Magnus. So, Magnus, he's gonna be flying solo. He's not gonna be, you know, with his fellow British Invasion uh, partners, I guess. And now we're going to have that whole humongous 5v5 tag matchup because we need to add some more people on the show. We're going to do 5 matches, so it's as much as we could do at this point. Because I was done Battle Royale or something like that. We could do like Battle Royale to open up show, but whatever. And anyway, my tag team matchup here. It's going to be those kind of engineering love with the victory. Abyss, Sabu, Karango, and Jeff Hardy. We're going to give it to Abyss and Sabu, so we're going to make them win purpose, on purpose. Strong and Mr. Anderson. It's going to be Roger Strong looking... Uh, Quote unquote strong, yes, very cliche. Sting calls out AJ Styles. Well, it's an open challenge. And the winner of this one is going to be Sting. Luckily enough, it's not for a title, and well, you know, Sabu is injured. That is absolutely great. And I'm being sarcastic here because we could have pushed Sabu for the X Division title. So, ankle injury for one or two months. Okay, fine. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Now, weekly show, go home show. Before the Destination X pay-per-view. So, the go-home show, we need to go out on a bang. Not like what we did for Against All Odds. Because for Against All Odds, we did not do too well. Even on pay-per-view. Because I never even noticed that it was actually the Against All Odds pay-per-view. So, there we go. Kinda sucks. Kinda sucks. To be fair, I literally just like noticed it in like, the recording while I was recording it. So, or it's like, wow, I'm doing the voice art right now. So, that kind of, kind of bad. Anyway, so for the Go Home Show, we need a humongous tag team matchup. AJ Styles, Jeff Hardy, Sting. So we're going to do like faces and heels, faces and heels. Rivalry or not. And Mr. Anson, since he's evolved in the whole rivalry of like AJ Styles all the way to Destination X, we'll probably give whoever loses the matchup their rematch clause, their well deserved rematch clause, I guess. And also for the Sting and AJ Styles one. Uh, apparently, like, they had, like, a whole collapse, like, Sting tried to do the Scorpion Death Drop, and he collapsed, both him and Styles collapsed, so that's kind of a cool moment that we were, like, given a couple of seconds ago. So, there you go, 5v5, Mr. Anson Abyss, Jeff Jarrett, Samoa Joe, because we don't have, we didn't show Jeff Jarrett here, we haven't shown Jeff Jarrett at all, so, you know, we'll give him some spotlight, I guess, for whatever reason. Mickey James, Velvet Sky, not for the Knockouts Championship, just a regular 1 1 matchup. They're gonna have another 1 1 matchup at the pay per view. But this is just to see what could happen at the pay per view. Just a prequel, I guess. As the tag team matches weren't enough, I bet. But whatever. Spain of tag team matches, here we go. So, here are all the tag teams we did. 
most of them shooting guns, Spearmine Incorporated, Team 3D Operation Fashion, and the beautiful people. But uh, we could also add in more like Hernandez and Matt Morgan. They were tag team in 2010. We could have also done LAX with Homicide and Hernandez as well. But uh, no, kind of torn. Or just do a team called Hernandez and Friends. And it's like Hernandez with Matt Morgan and um, Homicide. That will be, that'll be kind of cool. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, Mick Foley, Scott Hall, Kevin Ash. We're not going to use them all that much. Foley, yeah. We could soon create a hard quartel, put him in there. Rhino as well. But then, you know, for Scott Hall and Kevin Ash, no. We're going to release them and X-Pac, aka Six-Pac. I'm used to saying X-Pac, so we can stick with X-Pac. But, yeah. So now singles, could do multi, could do gimmicks. Well, time in matchup, we got Christopher Downs taking on Brian Kendrick as well, because... Why not? I kind of want. I did say I wanted to give Kendrick a push. So, whoever wins 7 1 becomes the number one contender for the Division Championship and a triple threat. Chris Saban, Suicide, and Eric Young. The winners of these first two matches will face off against Roderick Strong at the, the Destination X pay per view for the X Division Championship. So, Kendrick and uh, Daniels, Eric Young, Chris Saban, Suicide. It was going to be a triple threat. So, there we go. Eric Young wins, and Brian Kendrick, so Eric Young and Brian Kendrick will be in trope threat. Pure Money Inc. win the tag matchup, it's going to be Mick James with the victory. And in the main event, it's going to be faces or heels. The faces win the tag matchups, there you go. The team of the faces, just a feel-good moment before the go-home show, nicely done. Eric Young, so Eric Young could might as well get a push now. Because now he's finally been showcased. So, Brian Kendrick, Eric Young, Roderick Strong, X Division Championship. We're going to make that ladder match because we're just going to make every X Division title match up a ladder match. Now, Destination X Baby, this is what I didn't notice. Well, at least I didn't pay attention to. But as I said in the beginning of the video, the first matchup you do will become the main event. And so, I accidentally put the triple threat. X Division ladder match as the main event. So, the main event of Destination X ended up being a triple threat between Brian Kendrick, Eric Young, and Roderick Strong for the X Division title. Well, of course, that is not a bad matchup. That's actually a pretty good sounding matchup if you ask me. But, what's supposed to be the main event? It's supposed to be Styles and Anderson. So, we kind of screw up the whole match card order, but it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. But, also, still kind of kinda does. Also, for the Destination X preview, we also didn't uh, do, like, the whole X Cup thing, or whatever it was called back then. Where it said they have to, like, retrieve the X, or at least I didn't even try to do it, because I didn't even think of it. Uh, so, it was like, we could have done that as an opportunity to see who becomes the number contender for the X Division title up next. But Roderick Strong, stuff like that, Eric Young, Brian Kendrick, they'll still be occupied with the title, because whoever loses will perhaps get the rematch clause. And it'll still be a triple threat situation, or we could also soon change it in the future. I got no idea, but there. So, anyway, it's Mojo Krangle, random matchup, Abyss and Jeff Hardy as well. Uh, Steel Cage, so we're gonna further do that whole uh, rivalry and stuff of like that. Smojo, Sting, and Krangle as well. That's gonna be a triple threat. Number one contenders matchup. Whoever wins that one will become the number one contender for the TNA Championship. So, whether if Styles or Kennedy. Excuse me, Anderson lose, then, um, no rematch class, I guess, I don't know. I really don't know how I want to book this, because for humorous mode, I know how to book stuff, and then for here, since I didn't write anything down on, like, plans on how I wanted to book it, it's kind of a struggle, because I am used to, like, writing down stuff before I actually book for, like, humorous mode and GM mode, but then I actually, you know, didn't really write stuff down for this, so it was, it was kind of a struggle to build up storylines. Without me seeing it on a piece of paper and knowing what I do. But yeah. Nick James has got TNA Knockouts Championship. So there we go. We got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So like that. So we got a total of six. Yeah, we got six. Mr. Anson H. Styles, first match with the night. LOL, TNA Championship. Of course it is, of course it is, that was my mistake. AJ Styles retains the championship. I want Anderson to win. Mick James is new, knockouts champion. 
Your Miami Yank and Team 3D. The winners for tag titles are going to be Team 3D. They retain the tag titles. Samoa Joe, Karango, Sting. Samoa Joe is no more contender. He will face off against AJ Styles, Abyss, and Jeff Hardy. Steel Cage. Jeff Hardy once again prevails in their rivalry. And new X Division Champion, or still X Division Champion, never mind, new X Division Champion, is Eric Young. Edge Styles is on the way to become the face of the company. No surprise right there, because he ends up actually becoming the face of the company. Because he because he just did. So there we go, Wrestling Spectator News. So we're going to have like the reports for like the, the two other federations. And then we're going to get like our reports. Disappointing match at March. So it's like the other two. This is making it kind of easy. It'll be interesting if like we had WWE as our rivals and stuff like that. And we we're second place in the whole pro wrestling world. Ankle injury. Uh, yeah, Sabu's whole anchor, ankle. Yeah, ankle injury. Why can't I talk? So there you go. That was the that was the whole video. Yeah. Uh, so next time, I don't know why I'm going to do it again. I, I really don't. I'll probably record another one after this. I, I really don't know. Uh so yeah, that was that was kinda fun. But then again also kinda complicated because, you know, just the way the format is. And also the reason to ask why I didn't really know what was really happening at this point, because like me recording it and it's been vertical and seeing it from a vertical angle is kinda difficult to see. Well at least from the way the way the recording software is working. So basically, you know, it's like the vertical screen is even smaller, which is why I had to zoom into the screen. Yeah, which is why I had to zoom into the screen while recording this, and then once I finish, I'll turn the screen back to a regular vertical size. Where in video format, once you guys see it, it will not be all that difficult to read it. So, yeah, we're gonna release some stars Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, and Six Pac. They're out of here. Goodbye, part timers. There goes Scott Hall as well, and Six Pac as well. Goodbye. Don't need any of you. We could also do that to Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan, but since they're already retired in here, Luckily enough, so there you go. Bye bye, part timers. No NWO, no click, no anything. So there we go. Good, cause we actually don't really need them all that much. They're not gonna take up the spotlight, which is why I was kind of mad when like who answered the challenge for for Roger Strong. Was it Kevin Nash or was it Scott Hall? I think it was Nash. Uh, but yeah, which is why we made Roger Strong win. So yeah, there there we go. Thank you all for watching this video. Catch you on the next one where we should go from the first show after Destination Next all the way to the next TNA pay view, which I currently can't remember which one was it, but I'll figure it out sooner or later. So, yeah, anyway, catch you on the next one and goodbye.